What's the situation? For the last 10 years, because this all started in 2014, Russia launched a war of aggression against Ukraine. Then we did everything we could to establish peace. Everything. The Minsk agreements, the negotiations conducted under the aegis of France and Germany with Ukraine and Russia, right here in this very room. The only meeting between President Zelensky and President Putin on the 9th of December at the end of the year. And Russia, the Kremlin regime once again decided for itself in February 2002 to launch the second stage of this offensive, a full-scale war against Ukraine. And not just the Donbass, because he's not telling us his limits. He regularly bombs Kiev, attacks Odessa, and so on. We have an objective. Russia cannot and must not win this war. And if things were to get out of hand, it would once again be Russia's sole responsibility. If we decide today to be weak, if, faced with someone who has no limits, faced with someone who has crossed all the limits he gave us, we naively say to him, I won't go any further than this or that. At that point, we're not deciding peace. We're already deciding defeat. These RDK forces were starting to drop into the area. We also started to see the Russians began to surrender to the Free Russian Army. Our Free Russia drone here, looking down at a large group of soldiers. We believe that these are actually the Free Russian soldiers. We can see the Free Russians beginning to move into this complex of garbage. Here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. We can see the Russians put up some nets, possibly to catch something, maybe some hopes and dreams, but sadly there won't be any of those around, as it appears that the Russians right there may be waving a white flag. And they are. That was in fact a white flag of surrender from this entire border outpost, and they just gave up on the fighting immediately. Not a single shot being fired by the border post. The free Russians advanced onto their position and took it without a fight. Giving y'all a little bit of an idea of how demoralized the Russian border guards may be and how easy they are advancing at this point. 